Hello everyone, my name is Randomly, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own camera that works in VR chat. But wait a second, Randomly, don't we already have cameras that we can take a picture and send it to our friends on Discord? Okay, one, yes, you're right. Two, this is a camera where you can take a photo and actually show it to your friends in real time. I bet VR chat can't do that. Now, before we get into the tutorial, I just want to point out some things that you guys should know, and there's only just one problem. Say, for example, you're taking photos with friends, and then a random place player came by and see what you're doing. They're not going to be able to see that photo and probably only see a black or a white screen. And it doesn't matter how many times they try or you try to show your avatar. The reason why that's happening is because this effect is using custom render textures where we are updating a texture within a shader. So basically this means that only friends are going to be able to see your photos. Well that's kind of stupid. Yeah I know that kind of sucks but you got to admit this is pretty cool. So anyways, uh, let's start taking some photos of people on the internet. That came out wrong, don't listen to what I just said. So here we are in Unity, and first things first is building your camera. Now, you have multiple options, which technically you don't need a camera model, as long as you know where you place your camera to take photos. But if you want to go fancy, the most recommended option is my camera package. In the description below, we'll take you to my Patreon where I 3D modeled and textured my camera and added some sound effects. This is 100% free to use, so pause the video and go check that out. So taking the camera package route, open the It's Randomly camera folder. We are gonna go on ahead and drag and drop the camera into the hierarchy and position the camera in front of your avatar. Now don't worry about scaling the camera just yet because we'll get to that later. And then drag and drop the textures onto the camera just for the sake of it. Go ahead and click on the camera, right click and scroll down until you see unpack completely. Now what we want to do is place a screen onto the camera by right clicking in the hierarchy and create a 3D object and select a plane. Scale the plane the best you could until it fits onto the screen of the camera, like so. Now before we get ahead of ourselves, I almost forgot, click on the plane and remove the colliders in the components. Once you're satisfied with your screen, drag and drop the plane onto your camera and rename the plane however you want. For me, I'm going to rename it as screen. Highlight the camera in the hierarchy and right click and scroll down and add a camera. Go ahead and delete the audio listener in the components because it's not necessary and position the camera at the front. As you can see in the camera preview, try and position the camera in the center. In the camera settings, set the clipping planes. In the near setting will be 0.01 .01 and in the far can be however you want. How I like it is to set it roughly around 150 or 300. It's totally up to you, try not to have it at 1000. And in the Coley mask, click on the arrow pointing down on everything, and this is completely optional for you guys. You can check the UI and the UI menu off so you don't have to take photos of people's menu screens. But in some worlds, use the setting which might cause the camera to glitch out, so this is experimental, so try this out at your own risk. Finally, after the setting is all sorted out, position the camera roughly at the front at the best you could. Last but not least, just for the fun of it, we're going to add a audio source. And rename however you want, but for me, I'm just going to name it as Camera Shutter. And in the randomly camera package, drag and drop the camera shutter in the audio clip. Set the priorities to 1, spatial blend to 1, volume roll-off to linear roll-off, minimum and maximum distance to 4 and 5. Scroll down and add a component, and search for a VRC spatial audio source. Same thing in the minimum maximum distance. Set the gain in the far to 4 and 5. Open the advanced options and check mark audio source volume curve. Check the audio off and double check the audio by clicking it on the camera shutter and make sure the load background is checked on just in case your audio doesn't stutter. Now let's work on the magic of finally getting a screen going. First find a location where you're going to place your materials. For me, I'm going to use the camera package material folder. Right click, create a material and rename it as camera screen. Then click on the shader and set it to unlit and texture. That way our screen will be nice and bright and easy to see for viewers. Then go back to the folder and this time create a render texture and we're gonna rename it as camera render. In the render texture settings, you can set the size however you want. But for me, I like to set it as 1280 by 720. Try not to go overboard with the size, otherwise it'll be a little bit too laggy. Highlight your camera screen and drag and drop your camera render in the texture slot. Highlight your camera in the hierarchy and again drag and drop your camera render in the target texture. Finally, drag and drop your material onto the screen in the hierarchy. Also, be aware that you might accidentally place your screen wrong, but not to worry, that's an easy fix. Go in your search bar, type in settings, system, display, scroll down until you see display orientation and set the landscape to flipped. And ta-da, you now have a screen on your camera. 
All right, now let's start animating to start taking some pictures. Scale the position of your camera and place it anywhere you want, either your left or your right hand. Or it could just be whatever, whatever you, you want. Yeah. For me, I'm gonna place the camera onto my right hand. Once you're satisfied, make sure your camera shutter is off and uncheck the camera completely. Find an area where you're gonna place your clips. For me, it's gonna be the FX folder. Highlight your avatar, animations, and create. Name the clip however you want. Just make sure to clip it as on or off. For this part, we're just gonna to toggle the camera on. And again, create a new clip, but this time we're gonna have the camera off. Last but not least, create a clip to take a photo. Now, because we have an audio source, we're gonna check this on. And in your camera hierarchy, uncheck the camera components. Same thing for the off animation, but backwards. Have the audio source off and the camera component on. Turn off record and click on preview to reset your avatar and go back to your assets folder and locate your FX. Delete all the clips in the base layer, go to your parameters and set a bowl, and name it however you want, like camera or photo. Go back to your layers and same thing, name it however you want. Just make sure you set the weight to 1. Next, drag in your clips and make sure the off animation goes first. Set your transitions, go to your settings, exit time checked off, transition duration to 0, and set your condition to true. Do the exact same thing to the on clip, but the only difference is the condition is set to false. And here on out, everything is the same on the next layer. Once done, make sure your clip's loop time is off, go back to your scene, and drag the FX in the playable layers in your avatar. Now real quick, we're going to create a menu and a parameter by right-clicking in the assets, create, VR chat, and avatars. First, go to your parameters and add two new bowls. And make sure you spell them exactly in the FX parameters, otherwise it's not going to work. Drag the menu and the parameters in your expressions, and you can now add two new controls in your camera menu. Last thing to do is remove the controller in your animator, and you can now start taking pictures. For personalization, you'll notice that the camera is kind of small and some people might find it hard to see. So because of that, we're gonna add a screen. In your hierarchy, go ahead and add a plane. Scale and size however you want. Just be aware, depending on your camera's size, you don't want to stretch the image out. Next, copy and place the plane and rename it however you want. For me, I'm just gonna name them as show and show hand. For the show hand panel, scale however you want, either your left or your right hand. For me, I'm gonna place it on my left hand. For the main panel, for those that do not have world constraints, pause the video and check out my world constraints tutorial video in the description below. So take your world constraints prefab and drag it directly onto your avatar. Make sure it's not in the armatures or body. Right click the world constraints and unpack completely. And again, take your reset transform and drag it directly onto your avatar. Open the container and delete the cube and drag the main panel onto the container. Now go back to your camera folder, drag the material on both the hand and the main panels. Don't forget that your screen might be upside down, so remember, easy fix, and check your panels off. Drag your FX into your controller to animate, and here on out, everything is just the same like camera and the photo animations. The only thing you have to do for the main panel is check the parent constraints off and the screen on for the on animation. And the same thing for the off animation, but backwards. Just don't forget to delete the clips in the layers. Your loop time is off. Your parameters are spelled the same and remove the controller before uploading your avatar. And that, ladies and gentlemen, completes the whole camera tutorial. But wait a second before you go, here's something that you guys might not know about. The camera can also be a live stream if you have the photo animation off. Oh, that is so trippy. I'm literally across the other side of the map, and that's just crazy. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any questions or future tutorials on how to do awesome stuff into VRChat, just let me know in the comments below. My name is Randomly, and like always, keep smiling for me.